Hello. In this video, I'm going to be drawing this, uh, is it Pip Piplio Polyxenes butterfly? Photos by James Robin. To start off, um, we have like a really, what I would probably say a rare occurrence is we could see the legs of our uh, butterfly. And it's really interesting because we can kind of make, um, well, we could see the connections. I mean, it's an interesting view as it's, um, one of the wings is appearing a bit flat. I mean, it does curve in 3D space, but the other wing, we can see it outstretched. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like really interestingly broken up. Um, I keep wondering why. I don't know if it's natural or if it's intentional in some way. Probably should have Googled it before I started this video but it is quite interesting. We can also see both antenna, which is great. Um, to start off with, I'm going to make the ball of the head. And in this instance, um, it is really looking like a ball. Now I'm going to draw the thorax, which is uh, where all the legs are connected to. It's pretty big. There's also some intermediary connecting areas as it connects to the uh, head. It is important to keep that in mind. You will see that with many different insects. So now I'm going to draw the abdomen. And the abdomen, the abdomen's quite long. It's not too long, but it goes to about there comes back, connects to everything. There is some intermediary connecting areas. I keep thinking of like, um, like cartilage between joints. That's how I'm thinking of it. To be honest, I kind of made the bottom of the uh, abdomen a bit flat. It is a bit more curved than how I did it, if that uh, helps in any way. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add some of the initial connection points for the legs. Um, I'm going to draw ellipses to kind of show you where they'll connect. And the interesting thing here is we see these little extra things kind of ever so slightly hanging off. And the other important thing to keep in mind is, you know, this insect has six legs, butterfly is an insect. Um, there are other attachment points on the other side of the thorax, but we just can't see them. Okay, the other thing I wanted to quickly uh, touch upon, so there are wing connections. Um, there are areas where the wings connect. We really can't see them. Um, on the other side where the wing is fully extended, it is just obscured. And on the side that we can see, um, it's kind of, it's being obscured because um, it's like at our eye level. But do note that those connections do exist on the thorax. So now what I want to do is, um, I know sometimes I usually avoid this, but I want to draw some gestural legs for the uh, butterfly. But actually, before I do that, I want to quickly just, like, I'm not going to draw the flower that um, the butterfly is resting on, but I would, I thought I would try to do that. But you know what? I'm going to have to go to gesture real quick. I'm going to try to predict where uh, some of these legs are headed. And I am placing some uh, starting dots for myself. And I will add more uh, structure as I go.
Okay. Um, there is that other leg that kind of just seemingly, like, it comes and it disappears. It's on the other side. And it appears, I think there is another leg. There's a lot of overlap going on. So sadly, we can't see everything. But it is a great picture overall. <coughs> I do like it. I want to quickly jump back to the head. So now when I actually look at the head, it looks a bit more pill-shaped. It kind of has these um, interesting qualities to it. I feel like I could see a little bit of the eye, like right here, and perhaps we can see a little bit of the eye on the other side, or it's a little less than that. Oops. A little bit of the eye on the other side, just ever so slightly bulging but we really can't see that much of it because it's a bit um, obscured so now what i also wanted to do was i wanted to add uh, gestural lines for the uh, antenna and the antenna are uh, really interesting the end parts are much larger and to me it looks like a pretty simple uh, s curve for the gesture of the antenna. This one looks more a bit like a cane. I do see a little bit of a curvature in it. Kind of goes like that and just not as exaggerated as that, but kind of like that. And I'm trying to keep in mind the uh, position of the antenna in relation to one another. Kind of like that. Sorry, I didn't press hard enough. About there. Okay, so now what I want to do, I want to summarize the gesture of the wings. The wings can be a bit of a challenge, considering how the wings are not like these uh, perfect shapes. Not that I'm expecting them to. Um, I think the wing starts about here, goes up. Wings are standing very tall. So about from here to here, and I want to draw the initial line for that. So kind of like that, then it goes down about to there, then it kind of like cuts in, then it kind of extends a little bit further. Actually, it goes to about there. So the whole point of the gesture that I'm doing is to uh, summarize the overall shape of the wing and try to work within. Although there are some great uh, challenges to that. it up. So we have that. Um, oh, darn. No, I think it works. I think I should have made that a little bit more flat than I did. But I'll try to work with it. Because now I want to do the other side of the wing in which there's a lot of obscuring going on. And the interesting thing is uh, the wings here kind of align. It goes a little bit further past it. For the most part, it doesn't. Goes to about there. And we also see a bit of a curvature of the underside of the wing. <laughs> kind of doing that. And there's a little bit extra of that wing kind of down there. like an ever so 
subtle gap. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to, I want to uh, quickly try to draw a little bit of the antenna. So the antenna is a bit uh, thick. Well, not that thick, it's pretty thin, but I mean the endpoints are thick. I'd say the most significant shapes are the endpoints when you uh, look at the antenna compared to um, the small little parts that make up the rest of the antenna. They're kind of like a little bit very small stacking cups. Perhaps I'm making them a bit too small as I go. But yeah, they're very small, but they look like these uh, small beads. Sometimes if you have a more macro picture of a butterfly, you'll see the antenna or a bug in general. You'll see the uh, antenna a bit more clear. Okay, now for the other antenna, which has that level of thickness to it. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to uh, focus on the legs, and please do bear with me because there is a lot of overlap when it comes to these uh, legs. It could be a bit confusing to see how they connect it all. And there's also a lot of thinning out as you uh, go. Sometimes it's hard to represent the legs. I'm kind of using a bit of a thick tool. Um, I also realized that this leg I did here, I don't think I should have uh, made it that far down. That was a little bit of a mistake on uh, my end. But I do see like a little bit of an area that kind of does that. It's very subtle and very thin. I'm probably making it a bit too uh, thick overall. Um, now for this other leg, kind of looking at the attachment point again, it's uh, kind of, it's still a bit obscured. It looks like there's a bit of fur or hair kind of obscures it. But for the most part, it's kind of like this, I believe. Connects to there, connects to there. Um, you know what, I think, ugh, I think I should have made the leg curve even further than I did. I made it way too thick. Kind of like that. Kind of like, still too thick. 
Darn. I think it was better when I kept it like that. I think overall I made that way too thick, but I'm gonna roll with it. Um, this part we're seeing something like that. Then overall the leg is very, very thin. The back leg here it's like a leg behind a couple legs. It's really hard to see, but it's definitely there. Maybe I should try to quickly draw the flower just as a quick. I'm not sure how well it helps, but I feel like sometimes it can. Probably didn't help all that much. but just something to quickly summarize it. The other thing that I wanna jump back to quickly is that the head kinda of looks a bit more pill-shaped. It's a bit hard for me to represent it, but oh well. Um, now what I want to do is I wanna to try to focus on some of the wing, which is really difficult to do because there are so many sections to it. Um, it has an interesting overall structure and usually I don't focus on wings all that much because it they're so complex but I probably should to some degree because we could see all these individual folding units that have um, a three-dimensionality to it and forkings along the wings <laughs> I really hate to misguide people in any way. That's a bit of my fear when it comes to a lot of this. Because, you know, I summarized it. I summarized it in a shape to quickly show it, but I feel like the reality is much more difficult to uh, do. But I think it is important to try to be aware of all of the different changes of the uh, veining network I'm seeing. Um, throughout. And there's so many. The closer you look at it, the more you'll see these uh, individual crystalline structures. I mean, maybe it's not crystalline, but it's kind of how I'm interpreting it. And I'm having so much difficulty trying to think of jagged areas like I, I tried to commit to that um, gesture summarization that I made but when I really look at the wing it's just there's all of these different ridges that kind of go and I feel like if I would if I were was to do it again maybe I wouldn't use that shape I feel like sometimes when you're trying to draw really complex wings you have to kind of just you could draw a shape like that, but I feel like drawing what you see could be a bit better. I've noticed that uh, sometimes the goals of drawing these are so unbelievably complex that if I draw that first, I feel like I could draw everything else a lot easier because I've gotten this hard task of the uh, wing out of the way. And I'll try to put it to the side for you. even though I tend not to really focus on the wings so much. So why is my pen not drying? And overall, this side, the one, this one that I drew here, or sorry, like this section, it is overall pretty straight. It's really uh, interesting.
But yeah, I will say, and maybe it's a good time for me to give a tip like this, in which if you ever find a complex part in a drawing that you're trying to do, it could be very worthwhile to try to do it on the side or to grind it out before you uh, try to draw it finally. Because I've realized there are just some parts that you may try to draw and it could be very complex unless you have some degree of uh, practice with it. So don't be ashamed to practice it to the side because, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, predictions you kind of have to make if you want to fit it within the boundaries. Perhaps that's a shortcoming of my own. I should have made that more sharp. See, I think I messed it up because I should have maybe started with that. I think having a point to start at is uh, another important thing. Having start and end points in mind. Is important. Even when I did that, I feel like it should be much more, I feel like it should be flowing much more gesturally, something more like that. I perhaps went to a little bit too slow. You don't always have to draw it all in one line. You can break it into fewer certain either S curves, C curves, or straight lines. So don't don't think you always have to uh, do it in the way that I'm showing. I mean, it could help, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to show methods to help you draw. So don't let it um, overstress you in any way. But yeah, this is really what I'm seeing. I will try to draw some more of the uh, structure. And it's interesting because like a lot of these structures are kind of connecting to where it gets uh, sharp. Like near the ends where it kind of gets sharp is where those um, lines end. And I also realized that the line I drew probably wasn't curved enough. But yeah, it seems like they always tend to go towards those endpoints. The other thing, I'm going to switch to a thinner tool quick, quickly. But yeah, they all like branch out towards those sharp ends. And even here, if it's not a main branch of that, when it gets smaller, it kind of branches out again to the uh, to the smaller sections. But yeah, there's so many of those folds. <laughs> it's really it's a bit of a daunting task. Not for the faint of heart. But I can guess that a lot of people probably really love to draw butterflies. But yeah, the closer I look, the more I'm really seeing all of these ridges, all of these subtle connections throughout. It's like a never ending pattern of, it's like a never ending pattern. A 
what's the, sh the shame about butterflies is how few of them really survive to adulthood. Most of them get eaten by other bugs before they even have a chance. But believe it or not, they're actually pests. Like they eat plants, crops, and whatnot. I hate to say, because they're so pretty. Yeah, I'm seeing, the more I look, the more I'm seeing those veins. There's like all of these, all of these veins that go along the curvature of the wing. It's amazing. Oops. But yeah, sometimes when I did the gesture of the wings, I'm, I was ignoring the cutting. Just trying to make that clear. Because there's a lot of subtleties to the cuttings of the wings. And the more I look, the more I see all that I missed. Yeah, it is really impressive. I always thought it would be cool to raise monarch butterflies and release them, but I don't know how good of an idea that is. I want to say I read an internet article that said that could help, but I read another one that said it's best not to like mess with the environment in any way, which uh, I understand. Finally starting to get a bit of a caffeine headache. See, some of these ridges, another potential uh, gotcha that I'm making is some of them are actually have a thickness to them. Like they're a bit, they're not just like these lines that I'm drawing. They have, um, a certain degree of thickness. And I think I accidentally left some of that out. And I think it's important that I put that in. My apologies for uh, doing that. I probably should have had more caffeine. But yeah, I, I do say um, give yourself a chance and try to learn from the wing. I have to say, you know, I'm just doing it one time. But I think the um, honest to God truth is that if you, you'll you probably learn more if you do it multiple times to really uh, learn and understand the butterfly's wings. It, it's something that um, it can be a bit frustrating that you have to do it multiple times, but actually you become quite the uh, interesting challenge and something that I would uh, recommend you do. If you're interested in it don't do it if you're not interested in it not everyone may be interested in uh, drawing butterflies but i know that butterflies are one of those really important things that everyone loves to see in art and in general probably more so the wings less the bug attached to them <laughs> but i'm always just uh, happy to see both Also, the end, sometimes um, near the ends of the wings, there's a bit of a degree of three-dimensionality. A thickness bulging. You know, now that I look at it, I think I should have made this part kind of stick out a bit more than I did. I kind of made it too far in. Something more like that. I think I made it a little bit too short. 
or maybe it maybe it works no i think it should have been longer like i wanted it to be kind of underestimated it but yeah i hope this uh video helps you out in your own endeavors for drawing uh butterflies i'll try to make more because there are so many variations of butterflies and um yeah and they're always an interesting challenge to do but yeah thank you very much for uh, listening to me throughout this video if you have a question please ask below if you like the video please like it and if you like my channel please subscribe thanks again to james for the photo i really do like it this was an interesting challenge although looking at the abdomen again i feel like it should have been a bit more round and i know i said that before a little more slender and round but you know it is what it is um well, actually maybe even more that way but yeah thank you very much for uh listening bye